At the top again? Listen. Tom, hit record. Hit record. Hit record. Hit record! <laughs> We good? All right. We, <laughs> we hit record this week. Uh, apparently, I, I think, right? Uh, I think so. I great. You know, hopefully, because um, if the show is on YouTube, we'll be a okay. So this is the uh, first uh, movie show, uh, first show of the semester. Uh, but we're gonna go through it like it's any other show. Uh, but first, let's meet our panel. Uh, we're gonna start with my amazing partner and friend. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> wow. I'm flattered. He called me a friend <laughs> and a partner. This is very progressive. This show, is like yeah. the first <laughs> time I've ever oh, heard those words really come from your mouth. I know. Dan's gonna be. Jealous. I guess we're talking about <laughs> movies today. Awesome. Right uh, on. Awesome. Well, if we press record, it'll be okay. <laughs> now we're gonna go to my other partner in life, Brian Murphy. <laughs> there he is. Uh, here we go. This time we're pressing record. This like last show, I really brought it. Even when we didn't hit record, so when we hit it, I'm gonna be on fire. Hell yes. All right, and next is the man that didn't press record, <laughs> Ben Carter. Yeah, that was my bad. It's <laughs> not like anybody saw it. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, Mom's the word. All right, good for you. That was a great introduction. Now come back to me. Thank you. All right, so first movie we have coming out this weekend is Fifty Shades Freed. Is that what it's free? Free. Freed. Uh -huh. The uh, 15th to 17th of Paris. And uh, Peter Rabbit. Uh, guys, how do you feel about these movies? <laughs> Brian, you're up. All right, this is clearly the post-Oscar season. So just like, we have this movie. I guess we put it in a theater. I don't know, nothing else is coming out. Like all these movies, I mean, personally for me, don't appeal to anything because we have 15 to seven, which I don't know. It's like two minutes made into a whole entire movie of a guy stopping a terrorist attack. I don't only two minutes? Well, I mean, like, the event, it's like a guy shows up with a gun, he goes, oh, my God, and he stops him, but... It's very quick. But, they but like, they're going to be like, oh, how, did, how, how, how did it how become did a hero? There? Yeah. <laughs> then Peter Rabbit is obviously a children's film, so I'm very excited. <laughs> 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 it's probably my number one. I love Peter Rabbit. Ah, it's 50, Fifty Shades of Grey, Valentine's Day is coming out, so... Who are you taking? Minnie? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you hear it, hear, heard it here first. <laughs> We're going together. Can you get back to the movie? Ben, yeah. uh, oh, which one what do you I? think of all I of them? I don't know, man. Any of them Clint excite East, you? I, well, Clint Eastwood's oh, yeah. got uh, 15 to 17, I think. He's getting, he loves those so soldiers movies. He does. Yeah. Well, he's a patriot. Yeah. He's I guess. He's a, he's a real American. He's a real he's red American. American. Yeah. He's American. Yeah. yeah, that, I didn't realize Peter Rabbit was an actual thing. My friend told me that. I was like, that's a funny joke. And then I saw the trailer. I was like, never mind. It's not longer Is there like this just regular looking guy chasing rabbits around his yeah, yard? Yeah, it's Dom Hall Gleason chasing after rabbits. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, he just looks like this normal I mean, it's dude. just like a, just a children's like, yeah. book. I don't know. He's just kind of yeah. chilling. And then these rabbits are like, yo, let us get in the garden. He's like, no. And the rabbit's like, oh, we're going to make you make us into the garden. Yeah. I mean, like, the rabbit, not... Peter Rabbit's kind of is the villain. Yeah. I'm not rooting for Peter Rabbit. So. Yeah, he's a rebel. Yeah, yeah he is. What do you think? Uh, I think we should talk about the next week's yeah. movie. No, we're not to, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about next week's movie. It's going to be uh, Game Night and, Alien and Annihilation. All right. Uh, well, Annihilation <laughs> looks pretty good. Annihilation oh, does, really does it? I don't know. Does Natalie Portman still matter? Is she still a thing? <laughs> she was on SNL. So I she guess. was. Yeah. She did that second rap, but I don't know. Uh, Game Night looks like just kind of a generic kind of comedy that mm -hmm. people are just going to forget as soon as they walk out of the theater. It's got an all star. I mean, does it have an all star? Jason Bateman Jason, and does it have Rachel McAdams are two favorite comedian stars. <laughs> yeah, they're there, so that's fine. Yeah, that's but about all I know, isn't it? Annihilation looks like it has the potential to be interesting, but yeah. the execution completely fall apart, and who knows? Yeah, I mean, it, I'd say it looks interesting. Yeah, it well, definitely looks interesting, like, at least. Survival survival type type visually, thing. yeah. Ooh. All right, we're going to talk about Black Panther. Ooh, yeah. Oh. I think it comes out next weekend. It does come does out next weekend. Yeah, this next. Black Panther, oh, okay. baby. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm ready for that movie. I don't really love all the Marvel superhero movies, but Black Panther has a fantastic soundtrack. <laughs> it, it has fantastic cast. Michael B. Jordan in the movie. I know uh, Film Club's favorite actor. Is it? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Film's favorite actor, yeah. Wow. The, the, the prestigious <laughs> award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's talk about them. it. 
Ben. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to see it on Sunday the 18th. I'm driving all the way to Albany to see it. Ooh. I can't oh, wait. Wow. I love the cast. And yeah. What are you most excited? What about this that excites you differently than like say, like Thor Ragnarok or something like that, or the previous I guess it's ones? A, a different setting. Like I've always kind of wanted to see Wakanda in yeah, like a true. movie setting because it's always been like this technologically advanced place mm -hmm. in the comics. And we have had a lot of space. We've had a lot of New U.S. York City. and other ways. Yeah, see, it's like I, I know what New York City looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Are you I, sure? I've, I've been yes. there. <laughs> have you seen it destroyed? I mean, you haven't been there, Vinny. So I mean, <laughs> it must, it must oh, be a fantastic yeah, adventure for you. But Vinny has never been to New York City. I have not. I don't know when I will be there. It may be a long time. All right, let's keep on talking about this. We we got the trailer pulled up. Look at this. I know the trailer was Look at this. This classic Marvel Studios intro. I what is I mean, that? See, look at it. They what got hover cars. We don't I know. Have hover cars. I have a it's, a, it's a very unique what? setting. Is Martin Freeman's character good or bad? I don't know. I I he's probably technically good because he's, he's like US government, but he's like. He's like a shield agent, he's probably. Shield yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Okay. yeah, the equivalent of a shield agent. But, you know, also, good, like, the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Like, getting all these A list celebrities on it. Getting Kendrick Lamar, Lamar is like working on it. Getting the production. I it's really bad. I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be. I mean, I'm going to be. You have to have. Like set expect. It's a movie soundtrack they, at the end of the day, but it's like a decent movie soundtrack that's not just a score is still pretty impressive. Yeah, I don't think it'll be. Driving. I don't yeah. think it'll be mm -hmm. bad, but I just think the if it doesn't live up to the hype, it'll still just be a good movie. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I mean people have been hyping it. Marvel up for a really. While now. Yeah, that's true. Very rarely does like a true stinker. I don't think yeah. they even have yet. I mean Iron mm. Man three. Yeah, I was probably say, <laughs> Iron Man two. Yeah, the the Thor's. Bieber. What? In the words of Justin Bieber, never say never. <laughs> this could be the flop. This could be the flop that DC is looking for. I don't know. I, this is definitely not going to be a flop. I'm just curious how much money this is going to make because people are talking about this a lot. Yeah. Guys, keep on talking. What? about I know. Oh, how much, how much we have to I, fill? I, I don't know how much have more you, about. Have I you guys? Did you guys see the uh, premiere night where all the cast members were wearing uh, African royalty or whatever? That was cool. That, that was, was nice. I, like I did that. not see that. I didn't see that either. Oh, did you see the Super Bowl commercial? Well, for what? So with, 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 with Black Panther in it. Driving like oh, a Hyundai? Yeah. yeah, it was like, yeah. a, it was like a Honda yeah. Accord. Oh, he did a, he, he walked through a metal oh, it was detector. A Kia. It was a Kia. <laughs> what? No, he no. jumped in it. It was a Kia. Yeah, know. it was like oh, a self-driving car where he just kind of dove in. Uh, that's pretty... I don't remember the uh, You think that's going to be a scene in the movie? <laughs> what? You think it's going to be a scene in yeah, the movie? Yeah, I, I wonder what uh, tie-ins are going to have. <laughs> How do you... Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Looks like we're going to have to go to a commercial break here. All right, we're gonna go to commercial break here. <laughs> we'll be uh, we'll, we'll be back after this. Solid. I will get up and walk the dog at 6:30 a.m. I will eat some fruit as part of my breakfast. I will shave. I will clean the sink after I shave. I will be at work by 8 a.m. I will sit through two-hour meetings. I will say yes when you want me to say yes. I will be quiet when you don't want to hear me say no. I will take your call. I will listen to your opinion of my friends. I will listen to your friends' opinions of my friends. I will be civil to your mother. I will put the seat down. I will separate the recycling. I will carry your lip balm. I will watch your vampire TV shows with you. I will take my socks off before getting into bed. I will put my underwear in the basket. And because I do this, I will drive the car. I want to drive. Charger. Man's last stand. <laughs> Welcome back, <laughs> Vinny. Uh, for the movies coming out in March, we got Red Sparrow and Death Wish. Uh, the new guy, Ben Carter. So. How do you feel about these movies? I've heard a little bit about the Red Sparrow one. Is that the one with Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. I've heard... I was, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. You're like, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know. It's still tone. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks good. I haven't really heard much for about the Death Wish remake yet, though. The Death Wish, yes. The Death Wish. Yeah, that, that was just one of those another remakes that's just like, no, one, no one's asked for this. No, one's, no one like, sat down and was like, man, Death Wish needs to come back. I need Bruce Willis doing some vigilante justice. Old man Bruce Willis. Who's just getting checks for his grandkids <laughs> at this point? Like I know what. Sure what? Did he say he was like done with doing action, action movies? movies? Like, yeah, he, but he's then just like I'm done. He did. Yes. Out, he said that at like Die Hard Four or something, and that was <laughs> ten. Hard that was four. ten years ago, and he's still doing them. That's the one where he like has a, a kid now or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's just, just like and it's Arnold just, Schwarzenegger's like in it or something. But I don't know. Yeah, it's Expendables. It. I don't think so. But still, and once again, oh. that's another one where he gives a very tired. 
grumpy performance where he really doesn't want to be there. So I don't want to be there. I don't want to see this movie. So why do it? No one, no one's like, yeah. no one remembers I Death agree. Wish. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. Sparrow? I don't want to talk about Death Wish. That's a yeah. It's like a spy, spy movie. Right? This yeah. is like we didn't have we didn't have the rights to Black Widow, so <laughs> we called it Red Sparrow, and it's basically kind of that, which is Jennifer Lawrence is a Russian spy, I guess, in communist Russia, because I don't. That's the only time it really makes yeah, I sense. Think so. yeah. I mean, the trailer was pretty interesting, though. I mean, it looked like kind of has some nice tense moments to it. Mm -hmm. the production looked pretty good on it yeah. too. Looks oh, like yeah. they put a lot towards oh, this yeah. one. There was a I think a new trailer that was put out yesterday for it. Yeah, that's, that's where <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I did watch the Super Bowl, but I, mean, then you Super Bowl I missed that one. I don't remember that. I don't know if it was a Super Bowl. It was aired during the Super Bowl, though. Mm. Yeah. But other than I, that, watching the, I was watching the Puppy Bowl. You're yeah. watching the Puppy oh, yeah. Bowl? That's puppy the real game. That's where it's at. The one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep on going with this, <laughs> apparently. All right, we're going to talk about, uh, let's let's just keep on going with uh, the Death Wish. Death Wish? Death I don't Wish, know. yeah. <laughs> Death Wish. Still. Who else is? <laughs> no, it's oh. a wrap it up. Okay, you want to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, we got a wrinkle of time and the hurricane heist, uh, and the strangers pray at night. All right, how do you feel about these movies, guys? <laughs> hurricane heist. I, I think that's gonna be a good one. <laughs> hurricane heist is gonna be the you one. You think it's good? No. No. Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no. I, I, I liked seeing that trailer a whole lot. <laughs> we got we got a heist going on during a uh, national uh, a natural disaster. We do this. It's gonna be crazy. Twister meets heat. <laughs> Finally, we've been asking for it for so long. It's here. <laughs> and then there's just like unnecessary through. action and violence, yeah. and it's just like the one scene that I remember from the trailer is the guy's like, "Hold on, this is gonna be a rough." <laughs> and then it's just like a wait. And there's like five seconds in the the commercial. And then the car gets hit, and it's just like it's tense, man. We were waiting for so long, this and nothing happened. This is a bad movie. It's gonna hit you in the face, so watch out. So I, I just want the scene where you know they have all the money, but then it gets swept away by the wind. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> oh darn! Gosh darn it! Yeah, yeah. 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 so much effort. Uh, how about the strangers praying night? What about that? Is that the next one from the str like the actual strangers? Yeah, strangers. It's a. Is that it's a the series? sequel. It's oh, like a right. series thing that's going on. What was the first stranger? When did uh, that come? Out? That was years ago. Yeah, so it's, it's like the ago. one where they're like at a house out in the middle of nowhere, oh, and yeah, they're like kind of coming from the, the woods. Masks. Yeah, yeah. wear masks. So it's like a, a very noticeable mask because it's like a that was almost like a paper bag type thing. Yeah. But when this one, they stole the masks again. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying they're like pretty generic looking masks. There's nothing oh, yeah. like, they're creepy because, because they, they just look That's kind of like the they, yeah. It's just two horror franchises based off masks. But I mean, it's a little different though because it's not like... Uh, <laughs> Am I wrong? Does the person not have a <laughs> it, heavy emphasis on masks? It does. <laughs> I, 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 I think masks though. Well, they, these movies came oh, out yeah. at the same time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because that's why I was confused too. But then it was like, <laughs> it's not. So, I don't know. What was the other movie that was it, coming out? We got a wrinkle in time. Wrinkle in time. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the one I've heard most about. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are bad. At, you guys are doing bad today. But uh, next week we got uh, Tomb Raider and uh, Love Simon. Mm. What do you guys I, think about Love Simon? Can we talk I, about Love Simon first? I don't know. I don't know what this don't movie know. is. Love Simon's like. Feels like it should have come out in 2005, and it would have been a lot more important. Because it's about a kid coming out and stuff. I felt like we've had their chasing Amy's and stuff of that. That was kind of past. Right. And this doesn't really seem to be adding anything new to that dynamic or that story. So I don't really. It just kind of seems out of place, out of time, kind of old school. I feel, I feel yeah. It's gonna be a movie that someone like they're not gonna be like, oh, it was a great movie. Yeah. Like, it was like. Yeah, it, it, it seems pleasant and it's like nice, but it's not. Yeah. Groundbreaking. Or yeah, I anything. think they already have their target audience. I don't yeah. Think mm -hmm. What's your target out. audience? The people who read the book. It's a oh, book. Oh, so it's based yeah. off a book. Was the book same title? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't really. Like, they didn't stretch no, anything it, there. Did you read the book? <laughs> no, my friend did. Did he? Did, did, did they, they like they it? Like it? Personally? She liked the yeah, idea. Yeah, okay. She was going. She was she, she excited it. for the movie? Oh yeah. Okay. Are you gonna oh, take okay. her to go see it? No. I think the new Tomb Raider is gonna. Yeah, the new Tomb Raider yeah. is going to be pretty good. Oh, got, you think uh, it's going to be good? I think so. I, it's got, ooh, I'm, I got it's got right Danny Wu in it, who is uh, <laughs> starring in uh, Into the Badlands, which is a uh, really good show. It's yeah. really fun to watch. Um, who's the... Uh, man, I think it was Nick... Not Nick Frost. Uh, oh, yeah, he's Cage. in it. 
Is it Nick Frost in it? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. in it, which is also pretty they cool. Got the guy it's going to make it funny. McNulty from The Wire. Yeah. Is Craft's dad. Oh, is he really? Yes. I didn't know I that. I saw that because I watched the trailer five minutes ago. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, there's another big... There's the another Justified big. guy, the bad guy from Justified. Oh, oh. Walt, 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 Walt Goggins. Goggins. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. It's got a pretty good cast. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm if, if it's, a fan. If it's got Walt Goggins in it or Nick Frost in it, I'm like, I'm watching it. I'm always a fan of Alicia Vikander, man. Oh, yeah. I liked her in Anna from Uncle. That was... That's a good one. Oh, I like that movie. Really is she Laura, Laura, Laura Croft? Yeah, she is Laura, she she is is Laura Croft. But, I feel uh, like there's another main cast member that I can't think of who's in that. You guys fans of the games at all? Or? Oh, all right, yeah. guys, we're yeah. going to go to next are? weekend. Sorry. We got Pacific Rim and uh, Pacific Rim Uprising in the Isles of Dogs. Isles, 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 Isles of Dogs. 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 You could take the floor on this one because Vinny is a huge fan. Isle of Dogs. That's going to be probably one I'm like most excited to see. Going back for later. What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely. It's going back to the whole uh, stop motion that he did with Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is like all time. Is best it the same animated. animation studio? Uh, it kind of looks like it. I know, it looks I, very similar. Because I, I mean, remember with Ms. Fantastic Mr. Fox, they hated him, the studio, because he was so oh. meticulous about everything. Like they worked them to the bone, so I'd be surprised if they worked again. Maybe together. not then. Yeah. Were there any people in Phantasm Mr. Fox, or did they no, never like show real, their faces? There's no real. Oh, you yeah. mean like real? Like ca- no, I don't. Yeah, know. I, I don't remember. I, think it's, I, think I don't think they have. Yeah, they don't they're even have like motion. hands or anything. Okay, because like I mean, the dogs look like you know the rest of the animals kind of kind of from Phantasm Mr. Fox. Oh, they got like that fake fur. Kind yeah. Of with the claymation kind of style thing. But I'm sure. I, I don't know. And then they got the kid, though. That's the first time there's been a human claymation yeah. in this Wes Anderson and style. And then like, the setting's also pretty weird. Weird. Yeah. It's, it's very, like very of trash weird. trash in Japan full of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> it sounds cool, and yeah. I'm and this into kid it. is just yeah. flying a plane into the island to rescue his dog. Yeah. Like, what? Honestly, I do the same exact thing. Speaking of Japanese, <laughs> you got Pacific Rim, which, you know, that's Uprising. always... Uprising. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, Boyega. thank you. Pacific Rim Uprising. I mean, I was a, I liked the first one. I wasn't in love with it as so much as other people, but I'll probably mm. like this one too. Is Charlie I don't know Day in this? He is. He was in the first one. I know he was in the first one. Which I completely one. forgot. Was Charlie like, yeah. Day was in yeah. that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like this, this, this was like the I, this, scientist. That yeah. was like his moment of like getting away from it's always, always sunny. I was like yeah. at peak. Was he Charlie like was Day. he like his character on Always Sunny? Yeah. Like the wild He was just sniffing glue. Got <laughs> <laughs> to fight that monster. <laughs> <laughs> I need the brain. Yeah. <laughs> but I uh, I'm surprised this one got a sequel. All right, we're going to yeah. we're going to we're going to skip this. We're All gonna, right. I like that though. Thank you. We'll come back to it maybe later probably. All right. <laughs> but uh, next we're going to close out with uh we'll close out March with Ready Player One, oh. a Steven Spielberg movie. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about this movie, Vinny? Uh, video games. There's a lot of video games <laughs> and like old animation references. It's just like, hey, you remember when you played this video <sighs> game? Well, it's back. Remember <laughs> Iron Giant? He's yeah, back. Well, and this now is Iron, Iron Giant. Giant. I said Mariah Giant. Mariah, <laughs> Mariah, Mariah Giant. Mariah was got too big. She got too big. So now she's well, a giant. Villain, huh? This movie is the definition of pandering to nerd culture, I kind of think, because it just throws in all this stuff on the screen. I'm just, it feels empty in some way, I would yeah. say. It just like kind of, Remember Battletoads? It's like is Battletoads really featured in this? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Battletoads was in it. Uh, but oh, then it's man. like, then they have all these comic book characters, all these video game characters. They have Gundam in it. They kind of have, yeah. they have everything in it. They even have Freddy Krueger once. Yeah. So, yeah. Freddy Krueger's in it, too? Yep. I don't know. How did they get all the rights? Like, who owns? Universal, right? I'm probably, it's probably Universal. Universal owns, Universal. like, I think so. Battletoads Anything? and Gundam. In the same thing, or like I'm how sure Battle Toads wasn't that expensive <laughs> to acquire. No. That was, was the whole budget dollars. was getting Battle Toads. <laughs> Probably gave him a parking space for it. Like, park here. I mean, uh, people kind of have a really mixed relationship with the book too. When it came out, people loved it, but then people kind of stepped back and went, "It's trash." This is actually based on a book too. It's based mm-hmm. on a yeah, book, and the book came out, and everyone loved it because it made all these references to nerd culture, which was wow. kind of groundbreaking at the time, but. As time has gone on, How long that, ago that's, pa- that's passe. How long ago did it come out, the book? Oh, well, someone's going to cra- I don't want to say 80s. Oh, so it was more than a decade ago. Uh, yeah, and like, it was like the oh, whole wow. book, the whole thing was kind of referencing Indiana Jones and Spielberg movies and Star Wars wow. and being all into that. So making it now is just like They crazy. just updated it. We put Tracer from Overwatch in Yeah, I was like, <laughs> uh, didn't that just come out? And it was just, maybe it'll be good. It could be entertaining at Yes, mildly entertaining. All right, everybody. Yeah. What do you mean? We'll be back <laughs> with April on the other side of this break.
<laughs> Big problem, and we need your help. It's happening on college campuses, at bars, at parties, even in high schools. It's happening to our sisters and our daughters. Our wives and our friends. It's called sexual assault, and it has to stop. We have to stop it. So listen up. If she doesn't consent, or if she can't consent, it's rape, it's assault. It's a crime. It's wrong. If I saw it happening and I was taught, you have to do something about it. If I saw it happening, I speak up. If I saw it happening, I'd never blame her. I'd help her. Because I don't want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. We need all of you to be part of the solution. This is about respect. It's about responsibility. It's up to all of us to put an end to sexual assault. And that starts with you. Because one is too many. Right. Welcome back. <laughs> now we got April. We got, we're starting off with uh, A Quiet Place and Blockers. Vinny, what do you think? Quiet Place looks kind of interesting. That's, like, that's totally a new idea. Uh, the whole monster, I don't know if it's a monster, alien movie, or whatever. It's like a, it's somewhere along monster, those lines. Yeah. Definitely like sci-fi, like horror. But it's uh, John Krasinski that's from The it. Office. <laughs> and, oh. Uh, <laughs> the Good wife. Should know the wife's name. Emily Blunt? Blunt. Is it Emily Blunt? Yeah. Okay. And then actual, it's just a family that's like wow. surviving in this apocalyptic world where if they make a sound, they die. That's it. That's yeah. bad. I'm not sure but, on that. But like, it just looks like very tense what if you from burp? the trailer. What if What's you that? Bark? What if you burp? I'm like, is that it? You're <laughs> probably. <laughs> You're done though. Like, I mean, in the trailer is like one scene where like the kid knocks over a lantern and it makes a glass shattering sound and then mm. John Krasinski's just like, no one say anything. Mm. But he doesn't say that, right? <laughs> and then like, you hear like smashing on the ceiling and then the lights start changing colors, and then there's like running, and then people apparently dying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume someone <laughs> dies. It was filmed in, in New York. Oh, really? This was? Yeah. Like New York City? No, it's like New, York, New York, York Woods. Where oh, you're yes, from. Where I'm from. Up, <laughs> from. Uh, uh, up <laughs> here in upstate New up York. Up here in upstate, yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, let's talk about blockers. Blockers, oh. I don't know oh, what it's that, um, that was, it's John Cena. Oh God! Um, oh, and, 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 and they, this movie. They, in a raunchy comedy, blockers. they're stopping oh, their their it's kid stopping from their getting for, uh, rooster, rooster, blo rooster, rooster blockers. Rooster blockers. <laughs> rooster blockers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> rooster blockers. Uh, this looks like it could be so such a bad comedy that I enjoy bad, it. I, I feel like I could enjoy it in an ironic sense, kind of. It's gonna I be like, bad. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> I, like it's I have no champ, so I don't know. Yeah. It does have the champ. Ten times champion. It's a John Cena. It's gonna be a bad movie. It's gonna be. I don't. Know. This just seems like, it's one of those movies, like Bad Moms that just panders to parents. Yeah. Co raunchy parent comedies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, kids texting. What are they saying? <laughs> what is an emoji? On to the next one. All right, we're gonna go on to the next one here. <laughs> next weekend we got uh, nothing, nothing of the note this weekend. So we will skip ahead a week to Rampage, Super Troopers Two, and God's Particle. Don't you mean Cloverfield <laughs> something? Paradox. Uh, Paradox. Cloverfield. <laughs> Cloverfield. Paradox. 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 It came out yeah. yesterday. That's yeah, that's what God After, Project was. Uh, the trailer that was, was revealed. Awesome. I say that. They should do that all the time, Netflix. It's just, bam, here's a movie. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, though, is like the, the movie was announced... Yes. And then it was like supposed. Oh, I mean. Yeah. It was announced as God Project eight, before. Yeah. 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 And then it was like, oh, it's coming out in like February or March, and everyone's like, it, it where February. is the trailer? Yeah. There's no news on this movie at all. And then yesterday you got the answer. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. It was renamed and released the same day. It just yeah, came was, out. Yeah, yeah I was just surprised. Like, oh, that's a cool trailer. Releases tonight. Oh, yeah. was, oh wow. crap. All right. I mean, that's bold for Netflix. Busy. That is. I mean, that kind of shows how they're changing everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, they don't have to have a marketing campaign. The they just have to show it because everyone uses it. Yeah. Just put it on the top. Did any of you watch it? No, no, yeah, not yeah. yet. I don't have time to watch the movie. Super Troopers 2. Yeah, Monday. Hey, uh, you're going remember back 2001. Remember you when you were 11 and it was a Sunday, so you watched it on Comedy Central <laughs> yeah. and enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, no one's asked for a new it one. It was filmed in two towns away, two towns over from me. Oh. Wow. Yeah, they're cool guys. The, it was, uh, filmed, the lizard. was it filmed on Long Island? Uh, yeah, come okay. on. Lizard, uh, lizard something. Oh, lizard boy. Man? No, no, no. no, no secret no, Secret Lizard Society? They made. Oh. Uh, Something lizard. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know. This was this is like a kind of I guess cult, but we didn't even. All right, know. I don't want to talk about yeah. Super Troopers anymore. I want to talk about next <laughs> week. Next week we got. Huh, you guessed it. Nothing <laughs> again. <laughs> so let's just jump again to a small little indie film called Avengers. Indie film. <laughs> Finny Ward. Finny uh, Ward. See, I don't indie think I've heard of that one. Yeah. Anymore. What is that? 
I think this movie is going to be terrible. It's about a son and his father whose <laughs> mother just passed away and they have to reconnect. <laughs> I think the movie is going to be bad. You think it's going to be bad? It's going to be horrible. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I don't know. This seems like... There's too I many people so I don't bad. know what's going on. I mean, this is the culmination of since over a decade's work since Iron Man 1. They're it's been mess leading up. it up. I don't... I don't well, know they have lead two opportunities. They're doing yeah. two. That's well true. I mean, it's just such a. What happens afterwards is when I'm most curious. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Really it's gonna be bad. bad. Yeah, gonna, they have it. way too many. Too many things are gonna happen. Oh There's gonna God, be too many so. dumb, dumb jokes. Uh, see, I think they're gonna. Someone's too many gonna jokes. die. There's gonna be too oh, yeah, many definitely. jokes. Somebody's gonna die. Do you like other Avengers movies? <laughs> because you no, just described one. Like the one. good guy dies. Oh yeah. Well, one of them's gonna die. You think so? Who do you think's gonna die? Who do you think's gonna die? Ant Man. No. They gotta get rid of Paul Rudd. Iron Man's has gotta go. Iron Man's gone. I think I would say Iron Man. Yeah, probably because he's so expensive. Well, isn't isn't uh, is it Liam Hemsworth or uh, Chris? Chris. Chris, Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Isn't Liam they're Hemsworth. all? Most of them are done after. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. contracts are up. I know Chris Evans is almost like he's around. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I wouldn't want to do it anymore. Probably he's been gonna, doing like, it for a decade. Whoever's contract runs out in this movie, they're gonna kill. Let's yeah, all I, I, I felt like, I felt like <laughs> that was kind of what Phase Two was about. Was all getting people into new contracts like Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. So he can do it for 10 years, and Paul Rudd to do it for another 10 years. Oh, Paul man. Rudd for another 10 years? Yeah. I want to I see, see Michael Pena. <laughs> he was great in, those, in that oh, movie. Yeah. I want to see that. I want to see Michael Pena as Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is kind of the most interested. I, I, I'm more interested about the stuff around the movie than kind of the movie itself, just because it's such a big franchise at this point. Just to, if they mess it up, what happens? What do you do afterwards? Where, where do we go from here? Do it again. Do, do it, it again? again. As do what? It again. With Reboots. With characters like no one cares about, or just like a new Captain America. I mean, they. I mean, they've done that. Didn't they? I mean, try yeah, to but people, but people are already like sick of reboots of Spider-Man. But it turned out to be good, so people accepted it. Mm. But at the time, that was the third reboot of Spider-Man. That's well, so we live in the yeah. age of reboots. Everything is just going to keep but it wasn't that, being rebooted. But it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it was Apparently, <laughs> it was for some people. I guess Looking it was at long you, Hollywood. I mean. <laughs> Maybe we'll get into obscure and you, smaller You want stuff. a job in Hollywood and you just call that Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, I love you. Keep on not. doing you. Please hire me. But uh, wow. I want. Do you guys are you guys done talking about this movie? I, mean, I don't. I know. Mean, you guys want to talk I about can, it? Now? Are you guys I mean, want I can to talk, talk about, about it for the entirety so, of the so right, movie? Go for it. Yeah, right. this movie at all. <laughs> you're the, you just been right. sitting there. What are you most I'm, excited about? Say something. I'm, I got fingers crossed for X Men in this. X Men, because especially since they bought Fox. Yeah, I'm hoping that they slide in like the last. They're gonna be. They're gonna do a cameo. I guess that could be the next phase. It's like oh, exactly. Mutants. The the girl from. Logan will be in it, possibly. Uh, possibly. No, that, but doesn't X. make sense because I don't. They can't. They have to reboot X Men if they're gonna put them in the movies. Well, I don't Are know. They sure? could just bring it from whatever they're doing there, with like Doctor Strange or something. I don't know. He's, guess, he's got magic, so I wouldn't doubt he'd just be like, oh. Nope. But it's like, yeah. but people in the societies accept Hulk, but then they're, they're like, this person <laughs> shoots lasers. He's a you can kill him. <laughs> I mean, they don't really accept Hulk. Right, keep on going. Keep they, on. they don't accept Hulk. They tr he destroyed an entire South African Hulk. town in Who did? Ultron. Hulk. Hulk. Yeah, Maybe Hulk, Hulk, yeah. Hulk, was a, Hulk was a bad example. Wait, so <laughs> is this but movie Thor. after after all, all the movies? This is this, this is, is going to be the yeah. most recent one. Yeah. Which one? This is the, the one we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Infinity War. Yeah. Then, Do we, yeah. What year is it taking place in? Like, I'm so confused. 1972. <laughs> <laughs> is it like current it's day, 2018, 2019? I, so. I don't know. They'll, they'll yeah. probably do like like DC did with the, on Snapchat. Oh look, I got Superman on Snapchat. So we'll know uh, it's this year. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah well, they had David Bowie die in that newspaper. Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, <laughs> it's timeless. And you said Black Panther takes place in the future, though, right? No, it's no, a no, futuristic, it's like a futuristic society. society. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like you saw the trailer. They have yeah. flying cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. trailer. But no, what I'm saying though is, so it's. Our time, but it's just a future. I don't know. I don't think somewhere. people ever wonder. That's what. That. Yeah, it's Wakanda's like, like futuristic technology because they got vibranium and stuff. They yeah. can do a lot more stuff that we. Yes, can. vibranium. Okay. So other than that, that explains a lot. I, I mean, was, like, I was confused how they're connecting all this. Like, they seem like they're in the future, and then they're in the past, and it's like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but I, just this is kind of there's stuff. two big ones this year because usually there's a, the tiny one. You have an Ant Man, and then you have a tentpole big one like Avengers. Because they kind of they've built Black Panther as a big one, so it's mm. kind of two in such a small yeah. space. I also like how you used Ant Man as the tiny example. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. You guys want to yeah. talk about another movie? Yeah. You guys yeah. I'll talk Is about that the only one we've got? Want to yeah. talk about other movies? Anything? Yeah, sure. Any movie All that's right. coming Any out? Movie? You excited for? Any movie? Oh, doing, oh, are we doing the whatever we're excited? What now? are you excited for? Oh, are we? Ex oh, I'm excited for movies in general, man. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to go off the Isle of Dogs. That looks really yeah, good. Yeah, I'm excited. The Isle of Dogs. Oh yeah. Is there another trailer off of that yet, or no? no I don't they've only done so. the one. I think it's just the one. one. Yeah. 
Yeah. They got the usual voice actors that Wes Anderson uses too. Like yeah. Dolan Wilson. If you like uh, Bill Murray, um, uh, Jason Schwartzman, uh, mm-hmm. who's in all of them. Edward all right, Lawrence everybody. Uh, oh, I guess right. we'll have to we'll have to do this next week. That does for this week's show. Hopefully they hit record. Wow. Probably not. But uh, <laughs> tune in next week to find out why Dan did not actually see Lady Bird. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. Uh, truth. 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 Major, major truth. Scandal. Truth. Yeah. <laughs>